What's up, everyone? This is Walking Real Plate here. Good morning to you all. This is a brand new video, brand new topic. Those of you who are new to this channel, feel free to subscribe, like the video, share the video. All comments are welcome, and God bless. This has went has got to be one of the most stupidest, stupidest, idiotic situations I have ever seen. I don't even care to be moved by anyone in general who quote unquote uses a black scent or a black accent. What is a black accent? I'm a black male myself. I don't have an accent. The only accent I have is the American accent. Am I appropriating or am I uh am I taking white culture? Back in the day, growing up in the hood, a lot of other black uh, black students, when I was a kid, would make fun of me because I didn't I, I didn't talk hood enough. I didn't talk like I, I was from the hood. I didn't curse. I didn't put my pants down. I didn't have the hood vibe. I was just a good kid. Um, trying to just get by. I talk proper and everything. Went to church, yada, you did all that good stuff. And I was shamed for not being black enough, and I didn't even care. Why can't I have the freedom to just talk how I talk and be myself? Why can't I experience going around other cultures and pick want to pick up their accent? Other than that. Why it's it's okay to cancel Aquafina for silly little roles like this where it is it's it's offending the hoodlums. Yes, I'm going to say it. It's offending the hoodlums, the black divas, the queens. It, it it's it's taking offense to you. Like she's throwing shots at you or at your character because you're insecure about how you really are. So you wanna bash her from your own insecurities when it's something that makes black people in general still look bad. We're still seen as the least desirable race, especially black women. And it's no better that we as people did not came a long way. This is exactly why me being a black male myself, why I can't I can't stand for the Black Lives Matter, um, black culture this, black culture that. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's the messenger, it's the actions of the messenger that matters. Black Lives Matter is nothing but a scamming, two timing group. They only come out whenever a white officer does something bad. Or a white Karen does something bad to a black individual. All of a sudden, they want to create chaos. They use it as a as a mask to just get by. No justice, no peace. They, they use it just to get by, to cause chaos and havoc and look like zoo animals. But let that have been a white officer or someone of a different race that called black people zoo animals. Why are you offended by it? I could call other people zoo animals, but then words come down, come from an origin, which I could could completely understand why some people would have got offended if someone was to call black people zoo animals. But what the how does zoo animals act? They act like animals. They make havoc. They're chaotic. They don't. They don't know how to behave. They they act out. And I'm a black guy. I'm a black man. So, am I am I appropriating white culture? Am I speaking white? There was a black brother that was from Britain. He had a British accent. Should he be canceled?
there was a brother who played in the Blackness, uh, I think it was called Blackness 2, a comedy about a black family. There was a, a black man that portrayed and acted as a white a white TV reporter. Should he be canceled? I should, uh, hold up, I should even look this up. I should even look this up. Found it. I'm going to go to the cast. I'm going to go and look where I can see this guy at. <laughs> yeah. The name of the movie was The House Next Door, Meet the Blacks 2. There was a news reporter, a black male, playing as a white male news reporter, portraying as being a white um, reporter. He had the accent down the drop and everything. Should he be canceled? There's so many people that grew up with black people, black people in the hood, black people in Africa... They pick up accents. It's so sad and stupid how people are being canceled over an accent. Aquafina is a comedian. Okay? She's best known for also being an act, uh, a, a rapper. She's an American actress, a rapper, and comedian. Where, does, where did rap culture came from? Black people. People cannot even embrace the thought of anything from being from another race. There's people that were attacking Adele for having braids. No one does not own that hairstyle. Should I attack a white guy for having a, a black haircut? Oh, he's black appropriating black men? Because he has waves. I don't care. Let people be. Let people do what they want. Oh, she's a bee, but she's mean. Who cares? That's not your problem. People don't know how to mind their business. That's the. T t uh, if she's not hurting anybody, why the, the the sad thing is that she has to apologize. This is what's what's so stupid, and what's so pathetic about the things that celebrities has to go through. And I don't even look up to celebrities or idolize them, man. They're human beings just like me and you. But to feel like she got to get canceled, you run her off of the internet, off of Twitter. I hope you're proud of yourself for all the individuals who did this and who started this, this freaking stupidity riot. Those that made the, the, even the news outsource, the media, to even get involved. CNN. Google. Now the whole world is going to get on her case. And I'm probably going to be sure there's going to be white news reporters who's going to use this to their advantage to make money off of it. Clickbait. This, this is just chaotic and it doesn't make any sense. The poor woman probably has her problems. There's a reason why people act a certain way. They have their own demons that they're battling. No one is perfect. All these people who attacked her, you're not humble. All the news reporters, shame on you. I'm not standing up for her, but I'm standing up for the act that was done to her, which is blown out of proportion. Should I talk like a hood dude? So people could understand me better. It's like with certain black people. You have to talk that way. Because some of them aren't wired. different. They're wired differently. Unfortunately. There's people that grew up in poor circumstances. That they have no choice but to adapt. Or be in that type of lifestyle. Or have that type of mentality. 
And there are some who still grew up in the hood to act a certain way or talk a certain way or just carry themselves differently. And you have your haters because of their own securities. They want to hate on you. It's only in the black community there's bull crap like this. And there's just a, a, a substantial group of black individuals in this country that feel that no other race should have braids on their hair, should talk or act or even like the thought of having black outfits, black music. A lot of white rappers like Eminem should have been canceled then if that's the case. You see the stupidity behind this, right? They just want to pick on certain people for any little thing that gets on their nerves because of their own insecurities, their own problems. I'm sorry, this is making black people look even more bad. We're already looked down upon by society, especially black women. This is the harsh truth. Black women are seen the, the, the least desirable the most bashed on, especially for the angry, ghetto, ratchet attitude stereotype. And the stereotype is even showing even more. Aquafina may have portrayed some of those stereotypes in some of her, her movie roles, right? But at the same time, at the same time, it makes black women that acts like this look like idiots. Oh, I'm offended because she's using black accent. Uh, I'm sorry, sweetie. All the men, women out there who from the black community who was offended by this. I don't see what the problem is. I don't even talk like that. And what is a black accent? There's hundreds and thousands of black accents. There's hundreds of accents all over the world. There was a, there's a, 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 I seen a video on YouTube of a white dad who was born and raised in Jamaica. He has a Jamaican accent. Should he be canceled? Should he be canceled? It's so, it's like people want to uh, pick and choose. And I feel like this has nothing to do with black men. I feel like it was just a lot of black petty women who was just in their feelings, who are hurt, who are offended. By this because that's how they are. That's how they act. They talk like that. So it's attacking their character. If an Asian woman or a black woman wears braids or weave, oh, it's attacking it's attacking the black culture. There's a lot of black women out there that don't even wear weaves. And I applaud them for that. There's a lot of black men out there who is not from the hood or who grew up to act or be a certain way. I applaud them for that. They're being themselves. You can't even be comfortable enough to even wear an outfit that you like. But because it's from the black culture, because a lot of black people aren't doing it, a, a lot of black people are doing it, you can't do it. Oh, black people oh, is going to own Jordan sex? An Asian woman or Asian man or a white guy or Indian man, they can't, they can't wear Jordans, huh? Because black people own sneakers. They own hairstyles, the, 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 the look, the makeup, right? You see how stupid this is? This is how it sounds. It's stupid. I, feel, I really feel uh, a feel for Aquafina. At the same time, her being a B or being mean has nothing to do with me. That, that's her own battles. I have my own problems too. There's always a reason why people act the way they act. If she likes black culture... And the American black culture in America, from some of the the things that what represents some of the black roots, right? I don't see a problem. I do not see a problem. I could do an an African accent. Am I gonna get canceled? There's always this thing now with canceling celebrities. It is boggling. It, it boggles my mind. It makes no sense. I can't wrap my head around the, the stupidity of our own people. And I don't even owe nobody. I'm just saying black people as a race in America that are ignorant, that screams ignorant, that screams stupidity, 
insecurities, you're stupid. You have no value in your time. You have nothing else better to do but to attack people online because of how you are as a person. That goes to show you how stupid that we are still being seen upon and frowned upon. We're no better than white supremacists. We're no better than other people as a group who feels that they're superior. We're no better. Just because, oh, because uh, a, lot of other, a lot of people from other races, they feel like they can, they can keep stealing from us. Okay, stealing what? Do you own a hairstyle? Do you own an accent? Do you own a hood accent? I don't even get offended by some people that talks like they're from the hood or they assume that all black people are this way. Then if they do, then that's their problem. Who cares? Let someone else deal with that. Is she making fun of black people? I I, I don't see what the problem is, man. My wife is black. We, we both watched uh, the movie Crazy Rich Asians where Aquafina had a role where there was even a moment in one of the scenes where she spoke so-called black. We thought it was funny. And, and then look, at the same time, there's nothing wrong with that. It's sad how society, how this generation is, especially a lot of the black people in this generation, I'm pretty sure it was the sisters that wanted to cancel her. There's these group of individuals that support the Black Lives Matter movement who are just selfish, outright nasty, rude, insecure, and stupid. I'm ashamed. I really am. I wouldn't even want my, my daughter to even grow up to be like this, man. That's crazy. Like, people don't even have the freedom to even do much anymore, man, without offending anybody. That, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. The lack of common sense in today's society is, 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 is sad. It's really sad. It feels like we're truly in the end times. Because how the way a lot of black people are acting over this, it's ridiculous. And those who actually see nothing wrong with this, I'm on your side on the, on the fence with this one because I don't see anything that was wrong. I, see, I just see a bunch of idiots complaining over something like this when there's other things that you could even complain about. They just want to pick and choose and cancel people because they're haters, they're insecure about themselves, and they don't love themselves. Don't, don't put all black people in the same, the same boat. Like, this is our accent. We don't own no accent. There's black people from different cultures, from different backgrounds, different races, different countries that has different accents. Then, if that's the case, then everyone else in this world must be canceled then. This is how crazy this is. This is Woken Up Here. Peace out. Let me know what you think.